Storing renewable energy has always been a challenge for anyone wanting to use the vast reserves of energy that nature provides. UNSW engineers have refined a solution that involves pumping water from dams to generate electricity during peak demand periods. Pumped storage is essentially a water battery, which requires two connected reservoirs. Water is pumped to an elevated reservoir using renewable energy and released during peak demand times when those renewables are offline. This drives a turbine and rapidly generates electricity. It's a proven technology. Two already exist in Australia's state of New South Wales and there's renewed interest overseas. When I was overseas in the last couple of years, I spent some time in Switzerland and it was clear that they are retrofitting their dams to accumulate the renewable energy that's being generated so they can release it possibly for the use of the entire European continent. The engineers have overcome the environmental concerns of previous systems. By being able to raise and lower the reservoir level inside the dam, I think we can come up with better systems to enable fish, fish to pass through dam, existing dam structures. Some of the technologies we've developed here can reduce evaporation by something like 70%. So this could, be, this could be potentially a win-win situation that we get to conserve more of our water and also have the opportunity to generate energy at peak power demand periods. This is a particular interest for the government because we are looking at diversifying our energy mix as technology changes. This idea of pumped hydro in particular has its is its genius. Its simplicity spoke to me. Uh, there are so many potential applications and we were just having a brief conversation of the various ways that you could potentially commercialise this technology. I anticipate we're going to have big conversations over the next 10, 20 years of the implementation of renewable energy, other competing energy sources that might be available, how are these going to be brought together and it's important that we get all of these well-developed, um, options onto the table so they can be part of the discussion for the Australian community and the New South Wales community as we, we move into future years.